What's good guys? I'm John the Chief and for today's video it's going to be on how to complete trial number 20 in solo for the Bozak Core DLC. I know a lot of people have been struggling with this trial. This is probably the hardest one in the game and it took me a long ass time to complete it my first time. And I've been thinking about strategy, I've been testing some things and I found a really easy way to kill him. It takes a little bit of time but it works. It is very safe except for the beginning part and the beginning part I'm gonna show you what to do right here you're gonna want firecrackers and you're just gonna wait right outside demolish spawn what you're gonna do is because you have to do this part first before the next part is because you're triggering the demolisher on this electrical grate and what you're gonna do is as soon as it gets like right around the center you're just gonna go and slice the cord as you can see right here boom and it will shock all the zombies including the demolisher and do a shit ton of damage to him and that is what you're going for you're just gonna have him cook in there for a little bit get him all nice and uh nice and electrocuted and you're just gonna get time and then at this point you're just gonna kill the rest of the virus so you can use your trap bombs in order to actually make it easier on yourself uh you can use firecrackers to lure yourself this is where you'll be spending most of your med kits also. Uh, make sure you're ready for this. You're, just, you're gonna have to kill quite a few virals here and it can be dangerous. And the big thing is is that you can't be destroying too many propane tanks. These propane tanks are gonna be how you kill the demolisher. After you cook him using that electrical grate, he doesn't take too many propane tanks after that to die. He takes about like four or five and there are a lot throughout the whole entire arena so you can just go and pick all this up make sure you watch the gates for time that is one of my biggest mistakes I usually make during this trial is that I don't always watch the gate so make sure you're always going to the gates they give you roughly like 50 45 seconds somewhere around there uh, for extra time and you can activate it like four times somewhere around there so you, it gives you a lot of time and that will give you the time you need in order to actually pick up the propane tanks get to the demolisher and chuck it at them and that is a big reason why we do the electrical grate first is because that wire that we cut can be triggered by the explosion from the propane tanks and if we do the propane tanks first that we throw at him when we try the electrical grate it will not zap him because we already triggered it by a previous explosion from a propane tank also, be careful when he throws rocks, because those rocks, if it hits the propane tank as soon as it's out of your arms, it'll explode on you and you could die. I was very close to dying at that point. That propane tank didn't actually uh, make contact with him, it contacted with the rock, and if I was any second slower with that throw, I would have died. Anyways, as you can see, there are a lot of propane tank locations. I actually blew up a few by accident. Uh, just play it smart. There's also two actually right next to the demolisher in that little area with him. So always, you can always rely on those. Those are pretty, uh, pretty reliable. And as you can see, that's all I'm doing. I'm just going to keep chucking a propane tank, run away, find a new propane tank, and just keep repeating the process. And that will do enough damage. It will work a little bit better if you can get him to cook in that gasoline. As you can see, it's all lit up on the left. If you can make sure that triggers when he is in there, that will also do a shit ton of damage to him. In addition, it will be just like cooking him in the electrical grates. Yes. And that is basically just the strategy. Just make sure you throw propane tanks and cook him in the electrical grate. If it all works out, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. You don't even need to actually make a swipe at him with your sword. Or actually step into the arena where you're actually within harm's way of him. And that is the main reason why I like this strategy a lot. Is because you don't need to be worried about that kind of stuff. I was trying to think of a strategy where using a machete just like kept swiping him and everything. It was not working out for the best. That was how I was actually taking a lot of damage. I was burning through a lot of medkits. And it wasn't even killing him. But I've been trying this out lately. And it's actually been working every single time. Uh, so I would like to say it's a pretty effective strategy and if you follow all these steps You guys can solo uh, the demolisher and get yourself that bow you all of you have been waiting for and I Understand that it's actually a pretty difficult solo challenge, but it does uh, It does work if you just memorize a bunch of the steps that I do 
it will become very easy and then after you bat it out two times in a row you can unlock your bow the first game and then your explosive arrows if you can get under 31 minutes which that basically means that this one's our run that you watch if you watch the first part with trials 1 through 19 and this part I had a spare two minutes before that 31 minute mark so Hope all of you guys uh, can do it faster. There is two minutes of leeway. That is one death. If you can do this strategy exactly how I did, you can waste one death and still actually get your uh, explosive arrows. Anyways, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and have a great day.